Welcome to this Windows channel and today we have a new build of Windows 10 for insiders. So if you are still on the insider program, build 10525 is now available to download. All you have to do is go into the notifications, go into all settings, go into the update and security and uh, make sure you're in the fast lane in the advanced option if you're in the fast lane you will have something called TH2 professional and TH2 means threshold 2. It is the first look we have at what will be threshold 2 or threshold uh, something that's called also wave 2 update that everybody will have in October of this year from what we know. No official release date, but we know it's probably October. So I've gone through the system, I've installed it, gone through the system, checked what could be different, checked different blogs, checked the Microsoft blog. Uh, Gabrielle Hall of Microsoft did post a uh, interesting um, article on Microsoft website about this. So first things first, I've downloaded and installed it. It installed well, went very, very well. Um, did have a blue screen in the middle of the install of Threshold 2, but when it restarted, the computer restarted, it actually continued and uh, as if nothing happened. So um, it didn't seem to change anything. One of the first things that you notice when Threshold 2 is installed Watermark is back. So if you're an insider, you'll see that the watermark is there. It says now Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, Evaluation Copy Build 10525. So I expect this watermark to be there until we have the official final update of Threshold 2, where it'll probably remove the watermark again. So um, the install took about an hour on this Core i3 computer. And like I said, I had a blue screen, but it didn't seem to impact or change anything. Um, there's no ISO from Microsoft, though I did see a few websites that actually released image files of 10.5.2.5 for those that actually wanted to do a clean install. Uh, I updated my version because it didn't have any problems. It worked fantastically well, so I thought, no, let's, you know, just upgrade like they want us to do anyway. Uh, and you know what? We'll eventually have image files because eventually some of these updates will be released to the slow ring. And the slow ring, when the slow ring gets the update, basically what happens is we have image files. So what's new in this version? Um, you know, it's interesting. I The first thing I, I looked at was um, Microsoft Edge browser because I wanted to see if there was a difference. Now, when it upgraded, it did give me that you know new start page saying, well, oh, welcome to Microsoft Edge, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I compared Microsoft Edge with my other core i5, uh, i5 mesh, uh, machine that has you know Windows 10, basically, uh, home. Compare the options. There doesn't seem to be any options or any new things in Edge for now. And the why I went there is because I knew that, for example, add-ons were something that were going to be uh, there in the um, options. But uh, basically, from you know, right now, nothing really new in Edge from what I can see. But I'll be, you know, continuing. I'll be using this machine a lot. I'll be checking, and if I find anything new, I'll be taking note of it and making another video. So nothing new in Edge for now, but one thing that I did notice is that in File Explorer, look at the title bar. It's colored and actually is the same color as the color personalization in Windows 10. So what I see here is that they've started adding colors. This was something that a lot of people demanded, by the way. A lot of people asked for color in the File Explorer. Uh, I was one of those also. I thought it was a little too drab with the white and not enough color. It's fun to have a little bit more color, but there's, you know, nothing much. Just the title bar. There's not a lot of changes here also. 
So that's something interesting to see about that. I would say that probably a lot of what's happening in um, Windows 10 is under the hood. And I would say that TH2 is probably already a lot of bug fixes and system changes. But there are a few things under the hood that nobody will see but that are available yet. One thing that um, Microsoft did say is something called improved memory management. And you can see it here in action because I've compared my task manager from my two other computers in Windows 10. Uh, one Windows 10 Home, the other one Windows 10 Pro. With this one with um, TH2 installed. And one thing you notice is that in memory consumption, system is now the number one memory consumption. And um, it's not always the case everywhere. And one of the things that I've noticed is that um, system consumption is due to the fact that um, there's a new thing called improved memory management, that Microsoft said. In Windows 10, Microsoft added a new concept uh, in Memory Manager called Compression Store. So what happens in Windows 10 is that instead of uh, when you know your computer runs out of RAM memory, what it usually did is take some stuff in RAM, dump it on the hard drive, and take that space for something else. And that's a slow process because a hard drive is really slow. In Windows 10 with Threshold 2, there will be improved memory management. It is always, you know, it's it's already there because some of my Windows 10 machines I've been noticing and actually I've been having comments about people saying my system folder is really high in memory usage. Is it normal? And it is normal because it is the memory management right now but in Windows 10 threshold 2 they made it even more effective and better so what happens is if you run out of RAM or if your RAM is really close to the edge of being full what Windows does is it takes all the processes in the RAM memory that aren't in use and it compresses all of that because it's faster to just compress that than to take it and dump it on a hard drive most of the time. So that's why they're using that. And that's why you might notice that your system um, process is actually one of the process that uses the most memory. So um, these are, you know, a few new things that you have in Windows uh, 10 Threshold 2 with the build uh, 10.5.2.5. So these are the first things that I've noticed. Um, I am continuing to use it. It seems fairly stable. I haven't had any freezes, bugs, or anything. But uh, I will use this machine intensively to check out how well Windows 10 works with uh, this new update. So it's available for download if you're in a fast ring. Um, if you want to do a clean install, I've seen a few places where image files are available. So you can check that out. And um, I'll be continuing my observations. If there's anything new, anything that's changed, anything new I find, I will, of course, post a video. So um, we are now in the Insider Build Preview 10.5.2.5. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, please ask. It's always fun to have your feedback. If you want to have a video about a feature that you'd like me to talk about, let us know. We'll try to post that video also. By subscribing, you'll know when new videos are online. And I'm, I, I post you know, tons of videos, so why not you know, stay with us and uh, learn more about Windows 10 and Windows in general. And uh, give us a thumbs up. It helps us in the ratings on YouTube. So please, at least if you don't comment, click the thumbs up button. It's uh, always nice to have the feedback of everybody. Thank you for watching.